Cool. Okay, so we left off um, yesterday after looking at binary heaps. So I wanted to carry on um, by looking at binomial and Fibonacci heaps today. Um, mainly binomial heaps. Um, we don't need to know a heap about Fibonacci heaps. But binomial trees is where we'll start. So binomial tree is defined recursively, where a binomial tree of order zero is just a single node. So this. Um, and a binomial tree of order k, that is anything greater than zero, is just a root node where all of the root node's child, children are all of the previous trees. So, for example, a tree of order 1 is just a root node with a tree of order 0 as its child. Um, a tree of order 3 is just a root node with the trees of order 2, 1, and 0 as its three children. Uh, 2, 1, and 0, yeah. Um, okay, to work out the number of nodes that a binomial tree has, um, we just do 2 to the power of k, where k is the order of that tree. So, for example, of order 3, um, this is going to have 8 nodes, because 2 to the power of 3 is 8, and we can verify that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, and a binomial tree of order k can be constructed from two binomial trees of the previous order by just attaching one of them as the new leftmost child of the root of the other. So, um, if we had something like this, which is a tree of order 2, I believe, let me just... Yeah, okay, so this is a tree of order 2, um, and then we had another tree of order 2. We can merge those two by making one the child of the root of the other. So say we wanted to merge, okay, that is, um, so we wanted to merge these two. We can take this tree here, um, and let's copy that down here. Let's take this tree here, and let's copy that down here. And the idea is, all we're doing is, um, okay, I'm going to do this the other way, just to be consistent. Okay, so, so we have these two trees of order two, and if we want to merge those two, um, we just make one the child of the root of the other. So, all that means is, we have our two trees, and we'd basically create this connection here. And now this is a tree of order four. Um, and so that's how we can merge two binary trees, um, two binomial heap trees of order n minus one into a binomial tree of order n. Um, and so that's where binomial heaps come into play. So a binomial heap um, is, uh, I'll explain how we decide which one to merge with which in a sec, but a binomial heap is a list of binomial trees with the properties, um, there can only be one or zero binomial trees of every order and every binomial tree satisfies the priority ordering property. So every binomial tree is priority ordered. Um, none of the parent nodes are less than any of its children. Um, and so a typical implementation for a binomial heap is using a doubly linked list of pointers um, to the root of all of the binomial trees. So just to visualize what a, a binomial heap would look like, say we have um, a tree of order zero, um, and then we have a tree of order 1, so that's going to look like this. And then a tree of order 2, which is going to be something like this. Um, and this will go on and on. I mean, it depends on how many values you have stored in the heap. But say this is our heap. Um, the idea is we can have this doubly linked list. So we can go to the prev and we can go to the next from any of these trees with these two double-ended arrows. Um, and because it's 0 or 1, we don't necessarily need 1 defined for everything. So we might not have this tree here, or we might just have these two. Um, but we cannot have two trees of the same order, like this, for example. This would not be a valid binary heap, because we've got two trees of order 0. So this would have to be a tree of order 1. Um, okay. Um, so this is an example, another visual example. So we have the head of our binomial heap, and we have a tree of order 0, a tree of order 1. We don't have any tree of order 2, um, and I believe this is a tree of order 3. Yeah, okay. So there's there's no ordering between the keys um, in the different component binomial trees. So this 70 and this 50 and this 90, they don't have to be anything relative to each other, as long as they're the biggest value in their respective binomial trees. And so finding a node with the highest priority is a linear search. You just have to search through all of the trees and look at all of the root nodes. Because one of the root nodes is going to contain the largest value. In this case, it's this 90. So at most, we have to loop through however many trees there are. 
and however many trees there are is logarithmic to the total number of nodes in the entire heap. So finding the highest priority node is just O of n, O of log n, sorry, yeah. Um, so when you want to merge um, two binomial heaps into one, um, we want to find some sort of conflict or where there's two trees of the same order and turn it into an order of k plus one. So two trees of order k, we want to turn it into an order of k plus one. Um, and so to merge, it's very similar to sort of um, binary addition. If we have something like this tree, this tree, and let's say this tree. If we want to merge, or we want to add one more node to this. So let's say this is one of our heaps. Um, okay, so this is one binomial heap. We'll call this um, T0, T1, T2. And this will just be a reference to T0. Okay, um, so this is our binomial heap. Let's say we had another heap, um, heap 2, which has um, Q0, um, which is just a single node. This is also pointing to the root nodes, just to be clear. Um, okay, so let's say we wanted to merge these two binary heaps. Um, I'll just give some dummy values to them. Um, That should check out. Okay, uh, and then let's say this is. Um, let's give this the value, twenty-five. Okay, so let's say we have these two heaps. We want to merge heap one with heap two. Um, so first, we look at this order. Um, we look at the order zero trees that correspond to each other. Um, since there's not a gap in one of them, we can't just um, stick it in there. So we have to look at what we can do with that. We can merge this ten and this 25 into a single binomial tree of order 1. So if you have 10 and we have 25, which is going to be the root of the other? To, to merge this tree with this tree, how do we, if we want to maintain priority ordering in all of the trees, yeah, so 25 is going to be a root for that 10. So the 10 becomes a child of the 25. Um, hopefully that answers your question. Um, but look, we already have a tree of order 1, so we can't exactly put this there because we've got one there. So now we merge this tree with this tree. Um, and again, the, the tree with the highest root is going to become the root of the new tree um, of the order k plus 1. So 25 will be the root. Um, we can have our 10 here. And then we'll just stick this as a child. So this will become 25. Um, and so now this is a tree of order 2. So now we've got a tree of order two, um, and we've we've accounted for this value, we've accounted for this, we've accounted for this, but we've already got a tree of order two. So again, we're going to merge these two. So if we merge those two, the root's going to become the bigger value, which is 30. Um, 30 is going to have all of its original sort of children. Um, but then we're also going to make this tree a child of this 30. Um, and this is what increases the order of that binomial, binomial tree. So... We're going to have 20 here, and we're going to have 5 here. So now, we've got a tree of order 3. Um, and we've got all of these values, we've got these values, we've got these values. Uh, we've merged this heap into it. So now, this just becomes our tree of order 3. Um, when We don't have any tree of order 0, or of order 1, or of order 2 anymore. We just have a single tree of order 3. Um, so... Yeah, and this is what that would look like. Um, did you make it the child? Yeah, so we made 25 the child because we want to maintain priority ordering. So we want the biggest um, number to be at the top of the heap. Um, it can be a min heap. We can implement this with a min heap if we want and do the exact same. But instead of doing all of our more than checks, we do our less than checks. And in that case, we'd make 25 the root, for example. Um, it's up to you how you decide to do that priority. Why don't we have the other trees anymore? Um, so the idea is, with our heap, we we had a T1 tree, we had a T of order 0, we had a T of order 1, and we had a T of order 2. Um, our tree of order 0 has one node, our tree of order 1 was two nodes, and our tree of order 2 had four nodes. So this was seven nodes in total. If we want to then um, add another node to that, now we're going to have eight nodes in total. So what that means is we're going to have a single tree of order 3, 
and we're not going to have any of these trees because we can store eight nodes now. We can store these seven nodes in this tree of order three along with the node we've just added. Yeah, so T0 plus T1 plus T2 becomes T3. Um, and one way you can imagine it is if we have something like binary. Um, if we have a tree of order 0, a tree of order 1, a tree of order 2, say we wanted to merge all of these trees, you can just imagine it as us adding... If we wanted to add one node, you can imagine it as just adding one node here. So in this case, we'd just create a new tree of order 0. If we then added another node, we'd merge these three, because if we added one to this this would become zero 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 one zero so one one sorry so now we'd have a tree of order three and a tree of order four and you wouldn't have any of these um but yeah the idea is you want to keep merging and this process is called merging we're merging those binomial trees or we're merging two binomial heaps together to get a new binomial heap um and we're keeping those constraints in check where we only have um zero or one of a binomial tree of every order and every binomial tree is priority ordered how would you add a heap with zero to get a big... Um, are you talking about this example? Yeah. Um, so this is basically the, the example we just did. So if we have something like a heap, and then we had a tree of order zero, a tree of order one. I'll just do it with a tree of order zero, one, and two for now. Um, idea is if this is a single node if this is a node um, of order two and this is a node of order three um, if we then add a node to this we're going to try and add it here we're going to try and add it here but we can't so we'll merge those two then we're going to try and add this here but we can't so we'll merge these two then we'll try and add this to here, but we can't. So we merge these. And then this is a tree of order three. So we've converted um, trees of order zero, one, and two into a single tree of order three. All of our nodes are still in the heap. It's just that now it's a single tree of order three instead of being these three. Um, yeah, cool. So... Um, Marie. Okay, so yeah, um, when we merge, just make one the child of the root of the other. Um, binomial heap merge. Adding two trees of the same order k produces a single tree of order k plus one, which we've seen, and we treat this as a carry out. So you can imagine if we're adding binary, we have a carry bit. Um, you can imagine a tree as that carry bit or representing that carry, um, and then we add it to the next tree and the next tree until we find a gap, and then we can just put it in the heap at that um, at that position. Um, Right. For any particular order k, there may be between 0 and 3 input trees to be merged. Um, okay, so this is just saying that we can either add one tree of order k and no other tree, or we can add no tree and a tree of order k. This is just sort of explaining how we can add these trees together. So in this case, if we had these two heaps, this heap has a tree of order 0, a tree of order 1. This heap has a tree of order 0, 1, and 3. So Order zero, we don't have any carry in. If we add tr heap one and heap two, um, the trees of order zero, we get this carry out, 85, 70. Then we look at order one. Um, if we have 85, 70, in heap one we have this, in heap two we have this, and if we add those two, um, we can get this heap and then have this carry out. Um, whichever way we did this, whether we merge these two or whether we merge these two, or whether we merge these two, it doesn't matter. As long as we have a carry out, that's priority ordered, and we have an out, that's also priority ordered. So this would be our tree of order one, and then we'd pass this to the next calculation. Tree of order two, so this is our carry in. Um, we don't have any tree of order two in heap one or heap two, and our out would just be this um, tree here, because there's no um, sort of remainder or anything to add on. Um, there's no carry out for that, and then tree of order three, we just have a tree of order 3 in heap 2, so that just stays as the tree of order 3 in the resulting merged heap. Um, and so our final result is this. If we merge these two heaps, we end up getting this. And you'll see that by adding the, the nodes from one heap into another, we end up with this sort of tree structure. Merging two binomial trees is O of 1, <coughs> simply because we just do a comparison and we make one the root 
we make one the child of the root of the other. When we merge two binomial heaps, it requires in general merging O of log n binomial trees, because we said that the number of trees is logarithmic to the total number of nodes in the heap. And so merging two binomial heaps is O of log n um, in time complexity. Inserting merges two binomial heaps, one with a single binomial tree of order zero. There's a probability of a half that the other heap has a binomial tree of order zero, and so we have to merge them. Um, a half squared that it has of order one, a half cubed that it has of order two. So the overall amortized cost of insertion for a binomial heap is actually constant. Um, yeah, okay. Um, there's no fast way to build a binomial heap, so we just have to insert every value. Um, since insertion is constant amortized, um, that just becomes O of n, because we're doing that for every node we want to insert. To change the priority of a node, we can just... Um, update the value and then bubble up or bubble down like we did in binary heaps yesterday um, and this is just o of log n because that's relative to the height of the tree and the height of the tree is logarithmic to the number of nodes um, deleting the highest priority node requires finding it which is just a linear search through the roots of the binomial trees and then we have to remove that root node um, and merge the subtrees back into the binomial heap which is o of log n so the total cost of deleting um, the highest priority node in a heap is just o of log n and deleting non-root nodes can be done by setting the node's priority to infinity, bubbling it up to the root, and then deleting it, like using this method. So, O of log n again. Um, and then one thing we don't need to know extensively, this is the only slide on it, Fibonacci heaps are similar to binomial heaps, in that they are also a collection of trees, but with different constraints on their structure. So, they're more complex than binomial heaps, and the advantage of binomial heaps is that we can have constant merge, update, and um, we can have constant merge and update um, operations, and the amortized complexity of updating that priority of a node is constant as well. Um, and so to summarize, um, we've looked at binary heaps, we've looked at binomial heaps, and we've looked at Fibonacci heaps. Um, I don't think Fibonacci heaps will come up extensively in the exam. Um, I'd be surprised if they ask us a lot, because this is the only slide in the entire um, document about Fibonacci heaps. But in terms of the complexity to summarize, with binary heaps, we can insert, delete, and update in log, um, and we can merge and heap find O of n. Binomial heaps, we can insert, amortized um, in constant time. Um, delete, update, and merge are all logarithmic, and heapify is O of n, because we just insert, um, in constant time, we insert n items. And Fibonacci heaps, um, insert, update, and merge are all constant. Delete is logarithmic, and heapify is O of n. Again, this is just insertion times everything we want to insert. Um, what does a star mean? So the star is just telling us that it's amortized. So it's based on the calculation of um, counting a sequence num like a sequence of consecutive operations and then calculating the average from that. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's that's the that's everything on priority queues. Awesome.